people have hit me up today and asked what I think is going to happen next uh, between the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. And if I think this is really the beginning of the end. And I told him, yeah, I do. I really do. Um, but the way that I thought before this report came out, the way that I thought things were going to play out was that the Ravens, uh, they're going to place the non-exclusive franchise tag on Lamar Jackson because that will allow some other teams to give him the money and the Ravens could be like, oh, okay, you know what? Nah, we, we're good. We, we, we don't want to do that. Or they could say, hey, we just couldn't do it. We couldn't afford it. Makes the breakup look smoother, makes the breakup look easier or whatnot. But now, with this report coming out, and it's crazy because Atlanta was one of those teams that a lot of people suggested could be interested in one Lamar Jackson. If we go back last year, we remember they were one of the teams that were heavily heavily interested in Deshaun Watson heavily and there was one time, point in time where a lot of people thought that he was actually going to be, become a Falcon and he was going to be going to Atlanta but it obviously didn't happen the Browns came in even after being rejected they came back and they made their final pitch to Deshaun Watson and were able to strike a deal with the Texans so the Falcons lost out but now they're in a position to not strike out with Lamar Jackson. So now the way that I think it's going to go, well, let's just read the report first. Let's, because I'm, this, this whole thing is getting crazy. I thought I wasn't going to see y'all till after four, but apparently not. Anyway, um, from Matt Lombardo, NFL. And with Matt Lombardo, I, 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 I didn't know who that was because I had never heard of him, but I looked him up and I, I looked up to see who was following him too. And I see Justina Anderson. Who she's on point. She was following him. Mike uh, Garofolo, who he's on point. He was following as well. And there were a few other people too. But those two really like caught my eye. But anyway, he said, as others have suggested, Falcons' interest in Lamar Jackson is very real. And boy, you, they would love, love Lamar Jackson in Atlanta. Yeah, oh no, yeah, they would love Lamar in ATL. You already know what time it is. But anyway, um, he said the Ravens, Lamar Jackson deal talks with Atlanta progressed tremendously in Indy. So let's just break down that part right there. They progressed. In order for something to progress, it has to start, right? Because you can't progress from nothing. You have to progress from something. So that means there have been talks between the Ravens and the Falcons about Lamar Jackson. So now before what I thought would happen would be the Ravens, all right, they're going to put the um the non-exclusive tag on Lamar Jackson and let another team do their thing. But now if they're already having talks with the Falcons on Lamar Jackson and about Lamar Jackson, then I think that they would put the exclusive tag on Lamar. That exclusive tag would thus allow them to be able to control what they received in a trade for Lamar Jackson. Now, granted, everything has to be approved by Lamar Jackson. They could come up with the best deal in the world with, between them and the Falcons. Falcons could offer them 10 first round picks, 10 second round picks. This is just hypothetical. I know I'm exaggerating a little bit, but they could offer them the best deal in the world for Lamar. And if Lamar didn't sign a tag, no deal. Nothing. Ain't happening. So all of this has to be approved by Lamar. But now, again, uh, with this report, I feel like they'll do the exclusive tag now with the intentions of being like, all right, well, Falcons, let, let's get this thing done now for real. So the exclusive tag, it doesn't necessarily take out other teams, but it does give the Ravens a lot more control because they can have a lot more control in what they get, what they receive in return for Lamar Jackson. Mm, 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 mm. This is sad. This is uh, sad. And, and again, I, there's a lot of people that feel like it's just coming to an end. Um, but again, we'll see. We'll see. And the, the report from the article on heavy.com said Lamar Jackson could be on the move with the deadline for teams to apply the franchise tag looming at 4 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, March 7th. There is a belief among several sources inside the NFL that the Baltimore Ravens could be preparing for life without Jackson. Uh, and then he just rephrased it again. The Lamar Jackson conversation between the Falcons and the Ravens and Falcons progressed tremendously at Indianapolis, a source told Heavy. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, what can we say? We just got to sit back and wait. 
sit back here and wait. Um, as this whole Lamar Jackson and Ravens world continues to turn, uh, we can only just wait and wonder what's going to be next. But according to these reports, uh, and really forget the reports, according to how I feel this thing is going to end, just like Lamar Jackson is probably going to be when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, in my personal opinion, we out. <laughs>